Okay, so long play game, 60 minutes, zero increment. So we can take our time in this game. This might be the one that pushes us to the edge. Or it's over in two minutes. Let's count down, we're on 59. So when it gets to 57 minutes, if we're not crunched out completely, then we might stand a chance. Okay, let's tell the story. The Queen's come out. It's a bit unusual type of opening this is. It's protecting the pawn. Gives us time to make space for our king. Not ordinarily I would bring the bishop here, but I'm bringing it here this time just to make it look like I'm potentially coming for this type of position. And really I'm not. I, I never really go for it unless of course there's no pieces around there and their king is home alone. Nice attacking the pawn, so we could squish our qu uh, bishop outside of the chain. I'm going to do that. I really don't like doing it though. You know, I think it's a bit unfair on the bishop. I mean, it hangs out here and it's like, it's got no no, no friends, no mates. It's all, all on its own. But we're getting ready to castle if we can, if they allow us. Also have a little x-ray through. Have space for the knight to bounce. Okay, they're doing a similar type thing, so let's go here. Probably looking to exchange the bishop up, off. But there's no rush, we've got plenty of time. It's on 58 minutes at the minute now, so we're not getting squished just yet. We've got one more minute. And if we're not fit if we're not squished by 57, this is gonna be a good long play game. So this is why we do like the bishop being here, but we're, we're trying it a little bit different. Could bring the knight out, but then it's blocking our white square bishop. So I'm actually attacking the bishop, I do like that manoeuvre. Just makes you feel comfortable doing the stuff that you, you kind of know. So then at least your position, you're familiar with it, even if it's slightly different. At least you kind of can feel your way around it a bit. So they've not got castles at the minute. There might be one of those that goes, well, I'll just wait. Might develop the knight, maybe queenside castling if he's delaying all of this. I do feel sorry for this bishop, but maybe that's going to win the day, win the game. Being sat there by itself. For the moment, our king's got company of sort. Exact move. <laughs> so we told the story about them potentially going queenside castling. They developed out here. I'm actually going to just take the bishop off the board going to be too arty and I'm just smaller piece attacking the higher piece I don't need to overthink that so I don't think he's coming here he's not coming here he might go there but I think he'll just go back here in fact he might even go here because then he's saying well okay my dark square bishop which in essence is my bad bishop I could just take his knight off the board so I'll make it a good bishop because what's my bishop doing here but I think He's going to go here. Oh, he's not. So we're just taking this off the board. So the bad bishop has turned into a good bishop after all of that. So I'm really quite pleased with that. Next thing is just bringing the knight here. So it's supporting our knight. Also at the same time, some play here, some play there, if need be. Might just do a smaller piece attacking a higher piece. 
Okay, a smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Let's not waste any time there. Obviously just goes back. It might be one of those that just wants to open up space, so I have to be careful pushing on here, then the knight takes, bishop takes, well pawn takes, sorry. And the bishop can take, so that might not work. Push. Knight takes, pawn takes, bishop takes. Queen's got space down here, but our knight is protecting at the minute, but he's got an x-ray through. Let's just develop the knight. So we've gone past the 57 mark, well, the opponent's 57, they're on 55. So if I make it to 57, then we're definitely into a definite long play game. Queenside castling, king, queen can start mobilizing to make it look like we're going to attack there. Or start moving these pawns up. move the queen like we're going to be coming across here attacking the pawn uh, I did think they were going to come there so let's just do this this queen is um, attacking our pawn so I'm not minding getting this pawn doubled up in here so I think at some point this pawn is going to double because I do have the rooks that can come here I want to move the king here so now they've moved to the queen side Let's try and establish some sort of attack. We've got an attack here. Our queen doesn't have any protection on it, but I don't think there's, I think they're still just gonna continue with the capture here. I've not hit the 57 mark myself. So I could still be throttled. Knight coming through, bishop. have to move over again. So just capture. It's going to want to capture because you don't want this knight jumping here putting a little bit of pressure on this pawn as well. opens up his rook, his rook is owning the file but at this moment in time we're not too precious about that. Like I said, I'm not bothered about getting this doubled here. Um, I did see the pattern of if we do come with the knight up here etc capturing this um, knight is going to be taken and it's going to double up the pawn, well double the pawns there. But for now I don't think it's a big issue. I mean his queen does have sights of coming here after all that's been done. But we do have our own fish to fry as well. So he's doing that first. Let's go here. So at least I'm aware of the potential attacks that are going to be kicking off. But whether they're fast enough or not, um, I think we can still cover some stuff off in terms of defense and attack. All we know is that the queen wants to come here. The knight's going to take. It could bring this pawn back in line. If we take, then he comes here with his queen. He comes there with the queen. So we don't have to take the knight, you know. We could take this pawn. He doesn't have a... Well, it does have a check here, I suppose. Let's just take the thing off the board be on a white square so we'll probably come here with the king once he's come here so I don't think there's any point going here because then he's just going to go here so that's all kind of pretty straightforward yes 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 but that doesn't mean anything because he can't keep his queen there because the rook's just going to come here and take the pawn 
and he does leave his queen there so we'll just come here and attack the queen he's probably looking to come here to sit there or might even come here to attack the pawn twice yep so that's all pretty straightforward we could come here but he's actually going to attack the pawn here so i'm taking this pawn first not losing any sleep over this area because we've already covered all of that off in my preparations for attacking their king side so there's no issues there we're just going to block here with the rook so what do they really do i mean it's going to come across here and attack but that doesn't really have much weight so we'll bring the queen up so this is all pretty straightforward now so the queen's just putting a check on and I don't think they're going to go for a draw at this rating level. They're going to move the king across here. Yep. Okay, so now the king is across. Key thing is not to do this move. Oops, excuse me. Just move the king here. Queen goes back. Oh well, what what was that? You have to ask yourself what was that. If we go here, then his queen takes, then he's got a check on us, but it's not a checkmate really, is it? Because it's just the queen by itself. So we can bring our rook here to support. Again, not too worried about this area. Um, I'm still struggling now to see what it is that they're potentially looking to do. Just pushing the pawn here, why? Just to bring the queen here, put a check on the king. Yep, so put a check on the king. And the king's gone into a little corner. So let's just go here. And put a check on, it's gonna hide into this little area here and we can take this rook off the board with a check. And then the queen can come across here and checkmate. Wow, dear me. Let's have a look at the analysis again. It's wearing away. Okay, oh, two inaccuracies, two mistakes, two blunders for me. Four inaccuracies, three mistakes, and four blunders for the opponent. So that to me was an interesting game. We basically told the story right from the start through to the end, basically. Um, the attack that they potentially had towards us, um, for me personally, I didn't see that it had that much meat on the bones. They had to have better position in order for it to actually squish my king. And that kind of played out really in the game. So I'm going to take it through. Um, I am going to keep the arrows on. It's just, you know, uh, so the knight comes through. We take the bishop off the board keeping it nice and simple but as we as i'm saying to myself it's keeping it simple but it's not simplifying to give a negative position for myself hopefully so they captured so a smaller piece attack and a higher piece can't be wrong just looking to see if there's any major dips like we do and um, we decided at this point well this dark square bishop is really not doing anything i mean it could sit here you know and for the rest of the game but it's not actually doing anything so in my head I'm thinking well let's make this bad bishop good and take this knight off the board I did think he was gonna probably come back here after all the consultation didn't think they were gonna come there because it would double the pawns so they did actually capture so a smaller piece attack and a higher piece and then we develop our knight through basically just to protect the knight but also with any sites of potential if anything if things did change and then the queenside castle, we had the discussion about what it was that they were kind of planning to do. But their king is kind of home alone. So we liked that sort of concept of utilising that, looking at what potentially they can do towards our king area. So then we decided to bring the queen across, you know, to start looking to attack this area, which in my eyes is weak. Because the king is home alone. They pushed the pawn down and we brought the queen across, they captured. Oh, it's saying take the pawn. That's a free pawn. That's a free pawn, dude. Do you know I didn't see that? Wow. It's a free pawn. 
free pawn. Ah. Oh. Well, to say I'm kicking myself here just at this moment, it's very rare when I do evaluation that I'm kicking myself, but damn, that's right in my face. Taking the pawn. Ouch. All right, okay. Does that do anything for my position? I'm taking free pawn. Knight's there. What would I do? Knight, knight, pawn. But this pawn's still live, isn't it? Maybe he takes or takes. Takes. Knight's protecting there for a moment. Yeah, that might have been alright, you know. I was so focused. I was in motor set to do this move. Are you saying that's a blunder? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, no problems, no problems. Felt good in the game, so they actually captured. And then we captured. We had an explanation for everything anyway, so I still feel fairly comfortable. I'm just a bit shocked I didn't spot taking that free ball. It's okay, live and learn. And so they captured and they captured. So in essence, like we said, we had the story for all of this here. Maybe it was that the opponent didn't do the move orders correctly or find the right position. But in my head, we said all along that we were going to cover off the attack that was going to come to this, this king side. So I wasn't too worried about that. But to help my understanding of the game, um, to be a little bit more aware of the potential attack towards the king area. During the game, I didn't think it was anything at all you know really it might have been a bit of a plus type thing but they would have had to work to actually get their pieces in the right positions so that's why i was a bit blase about it and rightly so because if i'm playing a human they're not going to find these computer moves either so thankfully um, i believe the opponent was a human so they've made human errors like i did so we captured the pawn and brought the rook up and we did expect the queen to come across here, but they didn't do that. It's actually saying bring the queen back into the game. No, we're not playing them apples. So we put a check on, it's saying it's a blunder. We put another check on. And then we're thinking it's, not, well, I don't think it's a draw. I don't think he's going for a draw. He's a higher rated player. He's making you think that he's going for a draw. And then we move our king up. And that's showing massive blunder, plus 5.1. What did they miss? Oh, and they missed the golden shot, which was here. Yeah, so there was ample opportunities for the opponent to gain some type of advantage. Not an actual checkmate, but advantages in the game. So we doubled our rooks up, showing us a draw. And then we start pushing because we want to make space to actually attack their king. And they move their rook down. Like I said, humans, once they smell blood, they just want to squish all the pieces in there as best possible. Uh, they're not going to spend time jumping around with the king. So we put a check on the king. It's showing a minus something for us here. And then it's a draw again. And then we come up and we capture. And at this point in time, human errors. And then we can go for the checkmate. So all pretty straightforward stuff. Really pleased with that game. And I'm going to play a few more today. And yeah, good, good game.